the there tab. I can see the I can see the red dot but okay. it means that you're recording. So yeah now I okay so now I see that then here it's a recording. Okay. So welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for being here and taking your time. What's what's your time at your place? I think it's the same as yours. It's 3 p.m. Uh, seven, yes, seven past three. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, and that's the thing also that I have my American friends in America when what's the time zone and so on. So, mm. like in the east now, the, yeah. we are now spring forward. So now it's six hours uh, difference. Yes. So, so for for them it's nine a.m. So it's pretty early. So it's siesta hasn't really started. And you probably know more than me about siesta. <laughs> I, I like I this. Do. What's what, what do you say in e English when you play with words with your same letters at the beginning, like Saturday siesta or Saturn mm. is the name, the old name, mm. uh, the Roman name of uh, Saturday. Yeah, and yeah. it has to do with the planet. So I was thinking of doing this as a start mm. and doing it because uh, on weekends people will be busy in a way. But I think mm. to test out this heartland like a relaxed way i mean i mm -hmm. want to do it on a regular basis but mm -hmm. if things comes you know if i if i am at a party myself or whatever or sleeping siesta mm -hmm. i will not do it but then it's good that you could see it counting down mm, yes I but of course it. on the long run it it is that you come and check on a regular basis that will be the thing but we know mm -hmm. how people are so-called stressed in different ways so yeah, i wanted to test definitely. out this in a very laid-back way Mm -hmm. And then, of course, how long should it be? So I put a half an hour. Mm -hmm. uh, if you take two, uh, one hour, maybe, well, people, don't, oh, no, I don't have that time. Do you say too little? Then people maybe don't join. Mm -hmm. And it's again with the technical thing. So I will do some, like, notes. Mm -hmm. But then, depending on who's coming, it, it's, it could be this, like, what you have a chit-chat or, or talking at, at a party. Mm. What so, do you have in mind? Like, do you have, uh, let's say, prompts in mind? What's say? Do you have, like, prompts in mind? I mean, like, ideas of hmm, what would you dedicate this space for? For, for this Tea Party Media mm -hmm. or this event. So it, it, it is, I have put, like, a, not a manifesto, but I have followed, in a way, uh, you know, the guidelines. And it that yeah. took a, a bit of effort. To put yeah. like uh, your stance in the ground or whatever, saying mm -hmm. what you're, and if everyone is reading it, that's one thing. You could have it like pinned mm -hmm. before, but for me, it's like new media. It's like yeah, new media, business philosophy, and good life, including tea or mm -hmm. yerba mate and mm -hmm. other things like that. So on yes. this Saturday, <laughs> yeah, you will tell me more about that. On this Saturday, it will be more like a weekend talk or partying. But mm -hmm. it could be in a serious way also. And that's the whole thing to now, like a new media advisor. Mm. Now, like testing the microphone. I mean, it's better that you will see my mouth in a way. But in a way, I like I play around with it because mm. the sound is important and I will see the sound quality and so on. Mm. It is to test it. I mean, to test Heartland, what you could do. And mm -hmm. when we have our, everyone is welcome that are a community builder or this hotline nation and also the office hours to come. But to see it, it, it could take time hmm. on a regular basis. Yeah. Uh, so this is to test this technology. And I know mm -hmm. who is behind the technology for the live event and how they, how they have built it. It was so seamless. I was, that's why I asked you, I mean, am I live? Am I, because it's not going, you know, distributing it. It is on the platform. Mm. And that's the one main ad advantage. The thing is now to get individuals join your community or come as you could, like a participant. You could have this long link, then somebody outside could come. Mm -hmm. The link that you had, then you had to, I had to, you know, ask you to, uh, if you wanted. So, so you could see it, but you can't, mm -hmm. you can't burst into the party. So, so mm -hmm. to speak, or the event, you have to mm -hmm. ask mm -hmm. for permissions, so to speak. So this mm -hmm. will take some time to, you know, get around. But it is similar to like a Zoom meeting, yeah, and so on. Totally. But mm. what I like is again this seamless. It's it looks nice. It looks clean. Totally. Uh, hopefully, it, that's what I don't know. I I don't know how 
the quality of like the recording i i can't really see that mm. i think but it sounds good in in my phone so so yeah, that's absolutely. so the whole thing is to a long answer on your question and this will be recorded so i'm open for it it is to play around with the technolo- technology and then to show others how you could use this mm-hmm. so i'm to joke i'm better in one way to see others like mm. uh, organizations uh, personal brands or businesses how they could use it mm-hmm. for myself it's like uh, uh, again uh, eating your own uh, dog food as a cat mm. person <laughs> or, or i'm testing it out it's only mm. a tool but it, it is this simple thing and you could now so now i posted on facebook pretty just in time maybe t- so called too late but over time people will remember what's happening on saturday siesta mm. what's that mm. and so yeah, and then i am open for people coming from like spain and are saying you you haven't understood the right meaning of siesta <laughs> I mean, well, that's what siesta i'm is to sleep <laughs> yeah i know but when i read about it also it was sleep but also fun activities mm. yes yeah, well it's going and and then when you life. dig more people the spanish people lots of people don't want to be connected to that that they are like taking a break you know mm, they exactly. want to be busy exactly but then you have the the the, the uh, temperature and the climate yes and all different kind of uh, siesta so this is more like relaxing but also you could snack so i mm. will have that also i don't know if it the time it will not cut off even if you have put like half an hour i think it's only like a I don't think so, no. but we can check. Yeah, we'll see. So, but I don't want to drag out uh, too long. But uh, so this is on. It's it's a good day to do it uh, on April's Fools, right? It could have not been the case. <laughs> I so was, I was nobody will show up for that. Joke. <laughs> and I'm not a joker. I have a personal. I don't you know, serious things. I don't think you should joke about. Hmm. But I like like British humor. I have a sort of like you know about Sweden, so yeah. we we think here at the west coast Gothenburg, we have the funniest jokes in in Sweden. <laughs> <clears throat> that's that's a fact. <laughs> so if you say so, not yeah, going to yeah, argue yeah, with yeah. you. <laughs> you could check it. Check it on the internet, and you will you will see. <laughs> <laughs> so so that day. I, and I never really liked it as a kid to be like fool. Of course, you did that. We had the saying like mm-hmm. "April, April." Now you will hear some Swedish "April, April," and I don't like to say, but it, it's a children's thing. Din du masil, your stupid uh, herring. Mm. I could fool you wherever I want, or something like that. Mm. Mm. That's like, uh, and probably it, it's international, so you will have it. So that when you have done a funny thing or mm. or an, a prank, that's mm. not real. And then, of mm. course, you should you should uh, explain it so people don't mm. get <clears throat> really fooled. And mm. then I read, so this is like, I have some topics and ideas, but then thanks to that I'm active in another, you could say, community for podcaster on uh, Mastodon, you know, mm, Fedverse, yes. called Podcast yeah. Index Social. And I will see if it will work if I click on another tab. If I could maybe share, but I don't do it this time. But it's a podcaster called Everything Everywhere. And he has a post, and I will then add it to the comments. You could do that, mm-hmm. right? Or show notes. Mm-hmm. So April Fool's Day. There was one first thing. His his name is Gary Arndt. Is it like fools with uh, like one fool or several fools? I, I think it's different, uh, several spellings for that. But what if... what I was thinking was interesting. This was the history. So I have now written some uh, notes here mm-hmm. on Hilaria. It, seem, it sounds like Hilarious was coming from a Romans. Mm. And they celebrated that on March 25th. And I was say, okay, so it was leading up to April Fool's Day. So they, they celebrated and had fun and so on for a week. Mm-hmm. And then you could wonder why it's March 25th. Mm-hmm. Because recently we celebrated the that I have a friend that is originally from Persia, Persia, the Persian New Year. So the equinox is around March 20 or 21st. Mm-hmm. When it's when it's going one one year. 
because our so-called calendar starting in January is constructed. If you compare it with nature, it is this equinox, you know, mm. the sun and the moon and so on going in cycles. So that's around March 20th or 21st. Then it mm. has passed one year, 363 mm. days. So that's why we celebrate the so-called the rebirth of the new year in nature. Mm. So these Romans, and this is about religion and pagan, you know, natural religions, they take from each other. So these have influenced all of the celebrations. So I could see <clears throat> that the Romans celebrated about this, that they have heard from others. Uh, this is the new year of uh, in the nature. Mm. And then in 1582, according to uh, this podcaster, the, in France, then they have decided of a new calendar starting on January, you know, uh, things going on there. They they had on April 1st, that was the day when they, you could fool or play fools with the others that are still in on this March, March 20th or 25th. Uh, mm. But that new year is one explanation. So it started out like uh, having celebration and fun. And then later on, it, it was playing with the people and fooling people that are still on this old way of uh, celebrating the new year. Hmm. It's so interesting. That, that, that's pretty interesting. So when we come to pranks, I and you, you are welcome to share if you have seen anything funny. But I had <laughs> one here. Have, have you heard about mar, mar, might, mar, mar, Marmite? Do you yes. know what that is? Yes. Do you like it? No. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> very special. No, it's very, it's like yeast or, or things like similar to products that you're doing when you're doing beer and so on. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's but very they, the me. British shop here in Gothenburg that's selling yeah. British goods, they said they had a Marmite Vaseline product that you could have on your lips and so on. <laughs> okay. And if people, if you know what that is, that to have that on lips is could pretty, but it was very, wouldn't want to kiss you, no. Yeah, they want to kiss. <laughs> but I wrote that it, that's a good one because I have had lip balms mm -hmm. with both bacon, called bacon salt, really? or shirasha hot ch chili sauce. So that's how crazy <laughs> I am. Wow. Yeah, Indeed. I mean it's I mean bacon on your lips it not so maybe so taste, but it's fun. And mm -hmm. Shirasa, it's like hot, but it's mm -hmm. it is when you like a certain product, like yeah. it, it, this product called bacon salt. It's like vegan. It, it's like kosher. It whatever. So it's like salt that uh, tastes like bacon. Mm -hmm. And then Shirasa, of course, if people like hot sauces, I, I mm -hmm. do. Then yeah. you put it on everything. Yeah. So you could. So I could be fooled because that product was not too far far fetched mm -hmm. for me, my sakes. I I joked and comment that on my on my instagram but a good one but i have used this kind of product similar <laughs> and then it was a coffee and as you know i'm drinking i you know what i'm a tea drinker cheers yeah this is my blogger mug ah oh, it's saying really nice. i'm the best blogger i got that as a from a relative a friend so I gave it very cool we all love our Cheer. mugs so i'm drinking yorkshire tea that's pretty strong black tea mm. Uh, and and there they were one one that pushed this uh, teapot emoji, mm -hmm. you know the mm -hmm. white teapot. Yeah. Because that okay. and then you know the yerba mat mate uh, came yes. also around. Yes. So yes. That, and the bubble tea. Yes, needed it. Uh, <laughs> so it's pretty much uh, tea products out there, uh, an alternative mm -hmm. tea product. Mm. So so that was this British shop, and then this uh, guy who in Gothenburg he called himself the coffee. Uh, fox he has a, a his logotype is like a fox with a, a tie, bow tie and smoking mm -hmm. a cigar so it's very you know hilarious or mm. and and then he's, he's a very good roaster and and so on so his joke was due to the environmental things and so on, he will because it's hard to grow coffee in sweden mm. okay um, because the temper, so he said he will start. He will, he will st stop doing that. He will not import the, and so on, and uh, and and then he you could buy now coffee plants at his place, uh, but you have really? to come in uh, five years to to get the first <laughs> coffee beans. So that will okay. probably not be a cup. 
So right. I said that was April Fool's also. Right. And it was with a bit of, you know, because people could complain, why should we get things from an old kind of world? And I'm mm. all for it because mm. you can't grow bananas in Sweden. If you mm. like bananas, you have to transport it somehow. Mm. So, but then I com- commented also that I'm happy that we have tea plantation in Sweden. Really? So, and I have interviewed one on um, on my tea podcast in Swedish, in mm. Grenna. Have you okay. been in Grenna? They are they are famous for their uh, polka dots candy bar, uh, okay. candy cane. Yes, yes, okay. Yeah. As one example, and she had bought lots of plants, so she has several hundred plants. So she have done very exclusive tea with mm-hmm. that, and also blend it with others. So, and one that also close to on the west coast, having tea plants in the woods, in the forest, very in the, in the nature. And then uh, it's one on on Gotland, mm. the Gotland okay. Island. Okay. So, because Carl von Linné that na- gave the name Camellia sinensis, like mm-hmm. classifying the the Latin word for tea plant. Okay. He tried uh, several times to get it to to Uppsala, or to, you know, close to mm-hmm. Stockholm. Yeah. But he didn't. He didn't uh, succeed. So, but then they read about it and then tried it. So, so it is tea. There are tea plantations in in Sweden. And is it is it actual tea plant? Yes. But okay. they started. They 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 bought it from uh, I think like Holland or. Germany or in mm. order the first plant of course in order mm. to do it mm. but then the whole thing with tea is uh, mainly is that it probably came from China mainly China. China yeah definitely from, uh, originally. But or then, India was it what to say or India is yeah, it China India, yeah or that's India? the thing when with with, with the English yeah mm-hmm. they took it to to India in in a way because they wanted to have that plant mm-hmm. and then it it uh, spread spread around Mm-hmm. So it's very it's very interesting. Mm-hmm. And now we will talk then about a little bit about snacks then. <laughs> okay. If you're for it. And this is yes. something that you probably will maybe not like I could you see it? Yes, it, but I don't recognize it. No, nah, it, it's called uh, twiglets. Okay. And it's also like this uh and it smells. It's this similar smell like Marmite. Okay. So it's also made by like these products that you're doing when you're making beer and so on. Mm-hmm. But it's very, you know, it's lots of full, you know, uh, what's say natural things and so on. But it's very uh, a quiet taste. It's it's like really yeah. It's, Even the smell is strong. It smells strong. So it's a bit smoky. It's mm. yeasty. Okay. But when you're starting, if you don't, you know, <laughs> don't like it at all, of course, you shouldn't eat it. But after a while, you say, oh, this is pretty interesting taste. <laughs> and the other one is pork rinds. Okay. So it's like, uh, you know, the bacon thing yes. that you uh, fry. Okay. So, and, but do you eat it the, like chips? Yeah, like chips. And you could do it in different ways. And of course, if you're, you know, sensitive, I like bacon, as I said. But mm-hmm. it, it's very natural also, but it's okay. very fatty and, and, and uh, but also crispy. And you could do mm-hmm. it in different ways. Very, mm-hmm. but it's very popular in Denmark. So you should have, you know, when we were in Cop- Copenhagen. Yeah. They would call it in Danish, it's like fleske, fleske svåler or something uh, like that. I've, I think I've heard about it, yeah. but I've never tried it. Because... No, because it's very, I mean, it's special. Yes. And, but, and we didn't know so many, no, so many Danish people no so being on the international environment um what we got to learn about denmark was because of like uh, research or or other people but not so much about actual danish people saying like look this is something that we like to eat um, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. yeah so yeah even the the oh this is going to sound awful because i don't know how to pronounce it yeah that they have these like smorebro yeah i'm reading your yeah. mind so yeah. Also, yeah and you said it good smorebro okay and that's not probably not the danish pronunciation but we say that in swedish also smorebro okay but there but it's com- do you know where it's coming from smor no. smor is butter ah yes and, and bread like is br- bread, bread. And butter. Yeah, but in Swedish we say very strange. We say smörgås. 
And if you okay. have it, this funny humor or if you are like a kid, gås is goose in Swedish. But it's mm -hmm. probably not that what they reference to. But mm -hmm. it's the butter. But uh, in Swedish, it, you have smörgåsbord, you know, mm -hmm. smörgåsbord. That, uh, that have become an English word. But okay. you have a table often at, at Easter or Yuletide, as I call it, like Christmas. Yes, yes. All kind of dishes. And that's yes. the table with, all, like, uh, of course, a smur uh, butter, uh, butter and, and bread and so on, but all kind of like sausages and uh, ham mm -hmm. and so on. So it's a, a table. It's like this cornucopia of lots of stuff mm -hmm. that you eat during okay. the holidays. Okay. So smörebröd is a very, I mean, Danish, is, they are so, I mean, it's often on, um, how to say, coarse or, or really chewy bread. But mm. we yes, have a, yes. Get good texture and it mm. fills you up. Yeah. And like, uh, yeah, full corn in Swedish. Now I don't uh, get it in English, but full wheat, wheat, like it's not this yes, it is, white, uh, it's more like dark rye yes, bread and so on. You know it in, in, in Spanish. It's yeah. harina de centeno y cebada. Oh, what do you say? Centeno, like, is the, the, the name of the cereal? Yeah. Uh, the 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 bread this bread is made of like that's why it's darker but I don't remember in English. No. <laughs> so and then they put it uh, very delicate on the on the the sandwich. Yeah. With different things and it's often mm -hmm. different. So one, for example, is with um, bacon and and mm. uh, uh, liver. Uh, you, you know the past in France you have like. Or grow, but it's not it's yeah. not similar to that it, it's made in different ways uh, but the liver it doesn't mm. sound so taste when you talk about it but yeah. it's very fatty and it's uh, but that with bacon and roasted garlic uh, and this kind of thing it, that's one dish for example mm. and then they have these herrings and then they have uh, um, even avocado sometimes yeah yeah they have all kind of different things and what uh, i can't should... believe like yeah. what I can't believe is that they actually consider that a lunch. <laughs> yeah, but it is. It it's is not. really. Uh... It does fill you up, but it's yeah. just like sandwich. Sandwich is not lunch. No, but <laughs> I. Where we have a, in Norway, you have that also that you yes, have in school. I know, I know. Lunch like pack. Yeah? Yes, yes, I know. But right. I'm me... all for it in a way. I mean, of course, you should eat real dishes. But mm. if it's good quality bread, of course, when yeah, we could have yeah, this, and I will continue talking about this um, because I've tested keto and other things like health things. Mm. So now I will uh, with these snacks, but I will also talk about, you know, nutritional things and, and so on. Mm -hmm. I think you should live a good life and mm. enjoy, but should also, of course, think about that. So mm -hmm. if you only eat uh, sandwiches, mm. that could, you know, have consequences. But mm. then you could have the sandwich, but it's almost like a meal because mm. it's lots of ingredients yes. on it. it. It is an art to eat it also. You have to have a knife and fork because it's... Yeah, uh, yeah. I know, yes. But it's for for my culture. Yeah, yeah, not understand. But, <laughs> do you have, but do you have like... Uh, that's the ending, like wrapping up. Uh, like Super Bowl, I had a, like a point and I have mm. this... This yeah. patron, uh, when I won a long time ago. At Super Bowl, you have lots of dish dishes. Like, mm -hmm. uh, and in Spanish countries, you have uh, tapas. Tapas. Do you call that in in your area also, or is it is it a quint? Mm -hmm. uh, sing, what is it called? In it's in Basque, it's called something else. Um, I think it really depends on the country yeah. because in Spain, it's tapas. Yeah. Um. But for pinchos. example, in a, pinchos is yeah. also Spanish. Yeah. But in Argentina, for example, we wouldn't we wouldn't have tapas. We would no. have like picada, because picar. picar is like to do this. To pick. Yeah. Yes, to pick. Yeah. So we would have tapas are like a small plate yeah. with something, and so many small plates yeah. of different things, right? Yeah. And for us, picada is just one big table, like. Um, Yes, or the plate yeah. with many things. So then okay. you have one in the center and then all just pick. So yeah. we say okay. picada. That's, well, that's good. So that's almost that's like a, a smorgasbord <laughs> in a way. 
Mm. So it's it's funny to wrap it up. So this is my I like as you know tea, but this is a new favorite. So it's okay. So now it's product placement. I'm not sponsored here, but I'm open for it. This is like an <laughs> Italian, I think. So, uh, Pellegrini. Pellegrini. Grino. Yeah. And it's lim lemon. Yeah, lemon. Mint. And then how you do say menta, like mint. Menta. Mm -hmm. mint. And it was very, uh, of course, it's carbonated and it is sugar, but it's less than original. And it's okay. a bit fizzy. But okay. the, the freshness of le lime or lemon and with mint was uh, really good. Okay. I will take a note for the future if, if I encounter it yeah. <laughs> in the supermarket or whatever. <laughs> so yeah i think that's again thanks for coming here do you have any uh, reflections thoughts or, about um, the event or how you do the technology or uh, the april fool's day or something else <laughs> no it's funny for me because we don't actually celebrate april fool's day um i don't have it like in my system no. we have uh what we call the innocence day that is mm -hmm. the 28th of december yeah, uh, and it has to do with a Christian tradition. Okay. So then it degenerated into what would be our April's Fool, but yeah. it's uh, the Innocence Day. Innoc yeah. Okay. Which, which for us is like saying innocent as being like a kid, but yeah. also innocent as naive as yeah. you are stupid. So then I okay. like make jokes. You yeah. Know? Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So we, it for me. Uh, the day that I would take care of if someone is to see yeah. and double check if it is a prank or not would yeah. be the 28th of December. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that is, it, it was funny to see, will this be a prank or not on an yeah. actual event? Just no, in case I'm going to join. <laughs> no, that's good. Thanks. Thanks for that. And that, I mean, could, will be the serious thing also. I, as I said, this live event yeah, yeah. on, on Saturdays, but I will also have on other live uh, things that I'm talking about technology mm -hmm. and news and media, mm -hmm. because that's the thing also, um, what could you trust and what could you see? Is it a prank mm -hmm. or, or is it for real? Mm -hmm. I, I mentioned that for an American who's living here in, in Sweden uh, on creative mornings, I should mm -hmm. bet I could recommend you to check. It's all over the world. Mm -hmm. So they have like a theme this month, it was corruption. Okay. So, so then it was a, a a woman from uh, Egypt that had fled there. Oh. She had demonstrated she was almost risking her life for being in jail, but came to Sweden okay. and talked about how you could. And she has an interesting Instagram account and she told her story about it. Mm -hmm. So so that was the creative mornings. And, and then the place where we were there, it's a guy who have this during the event or mingle, you could draw or you could paint with. Uh, sharks and, and uh, pencils and so on and then they put it up on the walls and we talked about that i mean uh, coming from another country and coming to sweden what you could say or not to say and and mm. he had been in stand-up comedy and and mm. been a comedian a musician and, and so on so it, it was interesting and then i mentioned the news magazine called uh, grönköping it's hard to say but grönköping Svekoblad, mm. uh, like uh, made up uh, place like fantasy mm -hmm. in Sweden and Veckoblad is weekly okay. and on, and it, they say it they publish it every every month so that's you could already see that's something funny in newspaper it's similar to like the mad magazine or on onion or, or something like that mm -hmm. uh, so it's like uh, so they they always root for the people in power and then they write a story about it but it's mm -hmm. like a parody of what's have been going on in politics mm. and other things mm. you could then in a way joke about it and ventilate but also see the serious mm. thing about right. it right right so, so that i think if it's good in a good way you could reflect a little bit about it mm -hmm. definitely so, uh, that that definitely. joke so yeah it was funny to to test this mm -hmm. thanks yes. again for for coming here and uh, that's why i couldn't be on uh, when you had it yesterday because it, yeah. it was closing at nine but then it were so interesting conversations and meetings so we continue talking so i i missed it but i will mm -hmm. watch it uh, no afterwards. problem yeah no problem yeah okay so cool. see you soon then yeah thank you very much <laughs> bye bye around. bye for now
I'll start.